Most things we eat or use for medicine these days are processed, made with chemicals, or we don't even know what's in them. Once upon a time, ingredients found right in nature were all we had. At Moonwise Herbs, experts show us how we can still use what's right in our forests. Joining me to discuss this is Linda Conroy. Hi, Linda. Welcome. Hi, thank you for having me. Of course. So let's just start out by telling us a bit about Moonwise Herbs. Sure. Moonwise Herbs is a small uh, business owned by me, and we offer educational programs to show people how to make um, wild food and wild medicine from their own environment. And we offer educational opportunities. We also make small batch products. We teach people how to cook, how to make medicine, and how to connect with nature right in their backyard. It's amazing how many things are right out there at our, at our footsteps. Yeah, how did you personally get involved with all of this? Well, it's kind of a long, um, windy story, so I'll okay. tell you the short version. <laughs> but I was working as a social worker, a medical social worker, and a friend of mine who had some health problems started showing me um, uh, different plants that you could bring in for teas and um, medicines. And so uh, she started teaching me and took me on and started mentoring me. And that was over 30 years ago, and I just kept at it every single day. I I learn something new and I interact with the plants and it's just become a life way for me, just like our ancestors. Wow, very cool. Why do you think it is so important for people to learn about this? It's so important because it brings us back to our own center. It brings us back to nature. It brings us back to relationship. There's so many things calling us um, to um, move away from what's in our backyard, where our relationships are. And it's so important. People love to garden. There's really an increased interest. The more and more social media pulls us in, it seems like people also want to get outside, yeah. want to be engaged, want to learn about the plants. And so there's this call. It's, it's really our, um, our natural inclination, I think. Yeah, definitely. And so you'll actually be in the state line at Nature at the Confluence for the Wild Food, Wild Medicine event. Tell us what that's going to be all about. Sure. I'm going to be at the Confluence on a Sunday from 1 to 4.30, and we'll be taking a plant walk. We'll be learning to identify plants for, that are commonly utilized for food and medicine. And then we'll be harvesting some things and we'll be making a tonic for everybody to take home. And we'll be talking about how we can utilize plants like, for example, plantain, which is a very simple weed that can be utilized um, if you get a bug bite or, you know, you have some itching. And you can actually just chew it up and put it right on your um, cut or scrape or bug bite. And so we'll be learning some simple things like that. And then, you know, uh, we can share some more complicated things too, but it can be very simple. You and the plant, or you can really make it more complicated too. <laughs> and I put up a lot of wild food for later on so that I can eat those wild oh. plants all year long. They're chock full of vitamins and minerals that mm -hmm. we don't get from cultivated foods. Wow. Well, it sounds like a really great time. That's going to be this Sunday at Nature at the Confluence. And we hope you get a big turnout. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Of course.